Hey guys, I'm getting ready to go to the gym. Rocking my Rise Above Fitness tank here. I'll see you there. Okay, I just got this, the tricky treat ball and some treats. I think it's gonna be a lot harder since you have to get the treats through the little hole there versus that wobbly thing, which you just hit it and like treats fall out. This one will definitely be a lot harder. I also got him these small little treats. Oh my gosh, it smells like Slim Jims or something. It smells so good. Okay, so I filled it with treats. Do you smell? <gasps> oh. He's so smart. This is gonna take forever for him to get it out. I'm so happy because the other one took like one minute. Oh my gosh! You got too much- it all came out! <laughs> These seriously smell so good. I should try one just to see. It's like there's nothing bad in it. I mean, it's all human products. Pork liver. <laughs> Barley flour, whole ground, potatoes, chicken. Okay, let's try one. It's not that bad. I mean, it tastes like a mixture of different meats. Want some more? I'll put some more inside the ball. Yay! <laughs> You're so funny. Hey guys, I'm headed off to my friend's barbecue right now. George! I'll see you guys there. I don't know how much I'm gonna film because I think it might be a little bit rude. I'm at the lovely North Park here. Oh, how beautiful. That's where they live. There it is. It is the feast. <laughs> Gotta make it to the Asian market before it closes in half an hour. I got my reusable bag here. Okay. Gotta grab everything super fast. Oh, the ramen. And more ramen. Hmm. Look at these. Huh. Octopus. They have instant udon, so that's pretty cool. 69 cents. That's pretty good. They're having a sale. This is what I get. And ponzu sauce. That's like the best thing to get. This is how you spell it. P-O-N-Z-U. It's like a citrus sea soy sauce taste. Look, they got Pokemon candies. More Pokemon. Green tea Kit Kat bars. And I'm out of there. That was super fast. I think that was the record 10 minutes or so. I'm back home and I thought I would share with you what I bought. So they only had Napa cabbage, so that's what I'm getting. No baby bok choy for my ramen. Speaking of ramen, two ramen packs. Show you ramen. That's the soy sauce flavor. Some ponzu sauce here. That's for the beef that I make, which is right over here. I got they had the special, so I got two of them. And I got these instant microwavable udons. It's just noodles. They're like thicker noodles, so they are more filling. 69 cents each. And I got some chicken. Here we go, some teriyaki chicken. And that's it. All of that, $25. He's like, what? So today I'm gonna make the ramen. And if you didn't know, I have a how to make ramen video that how I make it. So I'm gonna put a link in the description below. You guys can check it out there because I'm just gonna scan over everything really quickly. What I'm gonna make today is the shoyu ramen that I bought. I have the Napa cabbage here, and I have some frozen pieces of pork belly, which I'm gonna defrost. Here, here you go. I know you'll like it. <laughs> Hatsby loves his vegetables. I'm watching some Seth Meyers right now. Eating his cabbage, yay! So I chopped up the Napa cabbage, putting the ramen here to the pot and it comes with the sauce already so I'm boiling the water for that. So this water looks like it's boiling and stick in the Napa cabbage. It only goes in for a really 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 short time. And ta-da! Beautiful. Okay it's time for dinner. 
Mm, that was good. Anyway, I thought that um, a lot of you guys were asking, where did you get Gatsby from? I got him from a breeder in Kansas I had mentioned before. Unfortunately, though, the breeder does not have a website. I have contacted them and I'm like, yeah, a lot of people are very interested in corgis now, in your corgis especially. So um, we'll see if they send me some more information. I don't want them to get like attacked by you guys. How I found them was they actually post um, pictures on different puppy websites and they took it all down already so I wasn't able to find it until recently. I was like, oh, I did a Google image search and I actually found Gatsby's picture there. Check it out, this is Gatsby. This is the picture that I chose him from. This is him. <laughs> it barely looks like him anymore. This is Gatsby's brother. This one's actually, I really like this corgi. Look at his markings. You have to ignore the nose. The nose, um, when they're born, they're born with pink noses and then they turn black over time. So this one's in the middle turning black. But its face is really cute too. This one is so adorable. Look at that face. My gosh, this is Gatsby's other brother. And then there's this one. This one's so cute too. All of them are cute. All corgi puppies are really cute. And Gatsby was the pick of the litter. You know what's different about his, his markings? His uh, brown eyebrows, he used to only have brown spots in his eyebrows. It's hard to see because he keeps moving. But basically, it, the brown is coming. He used to only have like a really small brown spot. Now he has like brown goggles around his whole eye. See, look at this picture with his brown spots just right there over his eyes. And if you look at him now, his brown is like all the way around his eyes. And this is when I got him. See the brown spots are only at the top. He's changing. There's this long line here. Yeah. I, oh my gosh, there's such a long line. We have to sit near the front because all the seats behind us are taken, unfortunately. Hey guys, so I just finished watching Godzilla. Woo! So I thought I would give my quick review on it. Believe it or not, I looked at a preview for all the movies for the summer. Yeah, so he's playing with this stuff, sorry. It's loud. Anyway, I was actually most excited for Godzilla, which unfortunately I was disappointed when I watched the movie. Oh my gosh. As you guys know, I am a sucker for movies where people are getting chased and also uh, monster movies. My favorite genre. And so I was so excited for Godzilla. Unfortunately, Brian Cranston actually wasn't really in the movie that much. I feel like the producers put him in so that they could say that Brian Cranston was in the movie, but he really wasn't in it that much. The movie does focus less on Godzilla and more on the effects that Godzilla had on the world, which I thought was an interesting concept. However, the problem was that the characters in the movie were just not interesting and I, or compelling. I felt that Elizabeth Olsen had absolutely nothing to do at all except just sulk and get you a little bit more invested in the main character because she's worried about him. And by the way, that was not Honolulu Airport. That was San Francisco Airport. I could tell right away. We don't have a tram system. I barely felt any sense of suspense throughout the entire movie. And I actually did think that it would have been more interesting to focus more on Ken Watanabe and Sally Hawkins characters a little bit more, who were more of the scientists who were trying to follow Godzilla. I felt like their characters were more compelling than Aaron Tyler Johnson's character, who I was kind of just like, I didn't really care too much about him. The scene that did get my heart beating was the scene where the egg was hatching near the beginning of the movie. I thought that was handled very well. However, after that scene, I pretty much didn't care at all about the characters or Godzilla or any anything. So I was kind of disappointed about that. I'm still glad that they made a Godzilla film. I just wish that they had done a little bit better job. I know a lot of people were very happy for this Godzilla movie and said that it was very much like the traditional Godzilla films. However, the problem that I had was with the characters and how the story was told. I felt it was a little bit too long and to be totally honest, I felt like it was Battleship 2. It really felt like the Battleship movie. I was like, this is just the Battleship movie minus Rihanna. Because I don't. most people didn't see the Battleship movie, but it takes place in the water with the Navy. Monsters come and are attacking and the, the Navy is there to try to destroy the monsters. So my final review for Godzilla out of four stars would be two and a half. What did you think? Put in the comments below your corn. Eat your corn on the cob. Wow. So we always have to make sure that he 
plays tug of war like maybe an hour after he eats. One time I played with him a little too rough. It was really sad. I was like, I learned my lesson, but basically I was playing with him after he ate. And he threw up his food. <laughs> so annoying. It's so annoying. Brush your teeth.